Hi, it's Charity Lowe here. Uh, today I'm going to be answering a couple of questions that I received. One of the questions is how to make a time-lapse video and also um, how to upload personal pictures. So uh, I'm going to be showing that both on Android and iOS systems. So here we go. If you haven't done this already, please go to your settings and go to DaVinci I and then make sure that they have permission to use your camera and your photos that you have on your phone. This way you can use all the features that are available on DaVinci I. Then I'm going into DaVinci I and instead of pressing try drawing this picture, you're going to press the draw button on the top which is red. Um, and then it will show the pictures you have on your phone and I'm going to select this picture. Now I'm going to press classic mode, even though the AR is going to be the same thing. Press tools and then scroll all the way to the far right where it says record. I'm going to press the record button and I'm also going to turn it on, which you just press this little button right here and it'll make it turn green. Then you press start recording. Here you can start drawing and it'll capture everything that you do. And when you are done, you can press the record button again or the red button at the top to stop the recording and then you'll be able to see what you have done so far. Now let's say that you're done for today but want to continue later. Press done, press back and then exit drawing and then I'll take you back to the main uh, page. There's a little button that says saved and I'll have your pictures on there. You click on the one that you want to continue working on and then you go back to tools, scroll all the way to the right, press record and then I'll give you the option to start over or resume. So you want to resume. This will allow you to continue it should have the video from the start to the end when you're done, even if there's a couple of days in between or a couple of hours. So for Android, you're also going to want to go into your settings and press app and then press app again, looking up DaVinci I and then look at permissions and make sure those are all on. This way you could use all the different things on the app. You'll only have to do this once for both systems if you haven't given them permission when you uploaded the app. Now I'm going to go into the app. And then I'm going to press the little pencil at the bottom. This will bring up all your photos that you have on your phone. And I'm going to select this picture of my son. Then press the check mark. And then choose the mode. I'm just going to skip through the tutorials. And then I'm going to go to tools. And press the record button, which is on the far right and then turn that on, which should be purple. So when you're done for the day, you can press that button again to turn it off. And then you can press the back button, go exit, and then it should bring you back to the home page. So when you're ready to continue, press continue, and then it'll ask you if you want to continue filming, so press that and then you can start drawing again. I hope this video was useful. Um, if you have any requests for future videos, please contact me directly on my Facebook page or my Instagram at Charity Lowe's Art. And if you have any general questions about the app itself, you can contact the app creators at info at davinciiapp.com. And I hope to see you guys again soon.